Today we are going to discuss a question which was asked in J mains 2013. This question is from a chapter known as gaseous state, and the question is a gaseous hydrocarbon upon combustion gives 0.72 grams of water and 3.08 grams of CO2. Find the empirical formula of the hydrocarbon. So let us try to solve this question. First, we'll write the general reaction corresponding combustion of an hydrocarbon. So let our hydrocarbon be C X H Y, which is in gaseous state. So this reacts with O two, which is also in gaseous state, to give C O two, which is also in gaseous state, and Water, which is in liquid state. So now let us balance this reaction. So on the left hand side we have x atoms of carbon. Therefore, here it will be x. So again here we have y atoms of hydrogen. So here there will be y by two. So now number of oxygen will be this. Two times x plus y by two, so it will be two times x plus y by two. So now our reaction is completely balanced. So you will see there are here two times x and y by two molecules of oxygen are present. So this reaction is completely balanced now. So now let there be n moles of this hydrocarbon. So Corresponding CO2 will have x into n moles, and this water will have y by two into n moles. So then we find the number of moles of water. Moles of water. According to our equation, it is they are number of moles of water are n into y by two. And this equals zero point seven two upon the molecular weight of water, which is two into one plus sixteen H two O, which equals zero point seven two upon eighteen. This this is zero point zero four. So therefore. We have n y is equal to zero point zero eight. Now moles of CO two. According to our equation, it is x into n, n x or x into n. It is same, um, and the weight of CO two is given as three point zero eight. We know the molecular weight of CO two is twelve plus two into sixteen, which equals three point zero eight divided by forty four. This is zero point zero seven. Therefore, we have N X is equal to zero point zero seven. So we divide so n x by n y, which equals x upon y. It gives zero point zero seven upon zero point zero eight, which is seven upon eight. So we have x upon y is equal to seven upon eight. So the empirical formula will be. When x is equal to seven and y is equal to eight, therefore our hydrocarbon this gives our hydrocarbon as C seven H eight. 